Welcome back guys. We're here overlooking the beautiful Chudley Valley uh, because we're going to get into, uh, actually not because of that, because we actually want to be over here, because we're going to get into forestry in a big way. Now I've got a, <laughs> I've got a ton of stuff to tell you. I've loaded about I don't know, uh, 25 mod, about 25 or so mods, maybe a little bit more. Uh, what I want to do is continue the the march towards uh, the real world, and I've got like lots and lots and lots to tell you because I've been doing lots and lots of research, and and there's about half a dozen different things that I want to do, but we're gonna we're gonna kick off with this. So let me let me explain, and then we'll get straight into the time lapse because this is gonna take me. It's going to take me hours to do. I've already spent, uh, it's, I've been preparing for this for about the last six hours or so. Right. Um, we have Ashby Forest down here. And we ship logs from Ashby Forest on these two lines. I tell you what, for just so that you can see them more easily, why don't we make this one kind of a light pink and we'll make this one kind of like a dark pink. There we go. So you can see them really easy. So. Um, so we produce the logs at Ashby Forest, load them onto a train, ship them all the way around here to Biggleswade Sawmill Number Two. Let's put that on the bottom. And uh, so the logs get shipped up here. They get turned into planks. The planks get put onto a train on the the Silver Branch and get shipped all the way back. No, sorry, uh, still on Ashby planks. Uh, no, sorry. This is the silver. This is the silver branch. They get shipped on the same trains back down to the uh, the forest, and then they get put onto the Ashby Planks line, and they get shipped up here to the goods factory, and they get turned into goods. Okay, great. Well, why would I want to change any of that? Looks all right. Looks all, all fine and dandy. Well, like first of all, I wanted I want to actually build like a realistic looking logging camp, and and we'll we'll talk about that while I'm doing it. And um, I want to change lines like quite dramatically. Like here, for example, we've got a line coming from here, which is the, the Biggleswade um, crude and oil line, this black line. And if we look here, we've got the, um, the, the crude and oil on this side and we've got the, the silver branch on this side. And there's kind of no reason for there to be two lines there, that they they should share this track, and there's absolutely no reason for them not to share this track. And then a line like this going out to a logging camp in the middle of nowhere is not going to be dual track. It's going to be single tracked. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this from these two separate lines into a loop. So the trains will go from here, go round to Biggleswade then come back along here. And instead of coming back around here, they're gonna follow, well, they're gonna be sharing tracks with, with the oil and crude trains. They're gonna follow this line round here, go through this station, and then go around on this track, which is um, used by the plastics and goods trains, and we can share that, no problem, uh, uh, until they get to here, the goods factory. They'll drop off the planks here, and then the, they'll, and then this line going out here, this is going to be single track again, okay? So that, that's going to be a hell of a lot more realistic, but it's, it's actually going to be quite a huge amount of work to get all of this sorted out. Um, you know what? L let me get on with it, and then I'll talk to you like, like as, I, as I get on with it, because the, really, there is a horrendous amount to do. Oh, let, let me tell you, I actually look forward to narrating these time lapses because it, it's the only time I actually get a bit of a rest. Oh, um, let's see, what time is it? I've been at this for a little over 12 hours now at the time of doing this this commentary. Right, what I'm doing, uh, I've, I'm deleting these tracks back because I want to I want to relay them. I want to take them different routes. Uh, primarily to, to get different views and going through the forest and it, it, you'll see. But also, uh, I'm taking out one of the tracks so that we're just single tracking. And, uh, and I am being sensible and taking out the, the one that I don't want. So the one that I do want still has the signals on. So 
Now I am going to have to put some, like redo some of the signalling, but hopefully most of it I won't have to redo. Right, while Bonehead carries on doing all of that, like loads of demolishing and messing around with the tracks, um, I'm going to talk to you about a whole bunch of things. Oh man, this, like, first thing this morning, I, I settled down, like when I, when I decided to do this forestry thing, because I was going to pick up the forestry mod, that, that I was like, yeah, I should pick up the forestry mod and, and, and then try and do something with this. Um, no, no, actually, no, I started off by saying, yeah, 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 I should replace this line, right? And then I was like, well, if I'm going to do that, I should try and do something with the, with the, the, the logging camp. And, um, so then I, I, I ended up going through the mods and I picked up, I don't know, about 25 new mods, some, somewhere around there. And... And some of those mods are big. I mean, one of just one of those mods is um, Joe Fried's mod pack, uh, Joe Fried's mod box, which includes all of Joe Fried's mods. And some of those are, are big. They've got loads and loads of stuff in. I picked up um, a bunch of stations, so I've now got like all kinds of stations, and I'll be using one of those new stations, the flexible station to put in the um, the station for this logging camp because uh, it has some specific things that I wanted and, and I'll, I'll talk to you about it with, like as I'm putting in. Uh, bridges, I picked up a whole load of bridges, like loads of them. Um, big bridges, good bridges, um, all sorts, all sorts. Iron bridges, um, I haven't picked up a French one, the Pont, Pont Divers, uh, which is basically diverse bridges. Like, yeah, so that's that. Uh, anyway, um, what, what else? What else did I pick up? Uh, I mean, that Joe Fried mod has got like so much stuff in it, it's crazy. Anyway, after I'd done all the mod, like sorted all the mods out. Um, oh, let me just tell you that. So this is this, um, this this new sta or one of the new station mods because I picked up about I don't know five or six new station mods. Um, this allows you to oh, it's called the flexible station and it's not the only station mod that allows you to uh, to bend both ends of the track in different directions, which I've done. But um, if you if you take a close look, you'll notice that there's there's no station building. And also you can you can adjust the the width of the platform, which I've made very narrow. And so it's just it's just basically a, a pretty much a plain bit of track with a little bit of platform. That's that's all it is, and that's exactly what I wanted because uh, after I picked up the mods, I I started looking at um, well, I actually started looking at. Uh, uh, doing a bit of research on how to how to like quad tracked and uh, and and six tracked or hexa tracked uh, railways actually work. Like, d is there a is there a set way that they lay out the tracks? Like, do they always have like if you've got if you've got it quad tracked, do you have two tracks on one side going in one direction and then two tracks on the other side going in the opposite direction? And like, do you always have the, the fast tracks? Because they always have a fast track and a slow track. Um, do they always have the fast tracks in the center and the slow tracks on the outside? What I found was that you can have it any which way. Sometimes they have, sometimes they have it like that with two, two going in one direction on one side, two going in the opposite direction on the other side. Sometimes they'll do it the way I've been doing it, where you have uh, you know, one going up, one going down, one going up, one going down. Um, sometimes they have the fast tracks on in the center, it's the most common, but you also sometimes get the fast tracks on the outside. So, yeah, so basically you can kind of pretty much do it any which way. And I want to reflect that. So I actually want to, 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 to mix up some of the tracks and have some of them with the you know, fast tracks in the center and maybe some with fast tracks on the outside, but 
um, having two tracks going one direction, two tracks going the other. Um, what I'm doing now, there are sub little subway entrances to allow people to walk from one side of the track to the other. And I've just covered them up with a couple of trains. Now let's get to the, let's get to this logging camp. So um, after I did that that research about how the how the railways actually work, um, I did some research on like how do logging camps work, right? And I, I watched some videos and looked at a lot of pictures and read some articles about um, like modern logging camps. How do they actually work? And you're probably wondering, what the hell are you doing now? You're just like plonking bunches of logs down and you know. Um, well, in actual fact, I, 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 this never occurred to me, but what happens is um, the, the, logs, the logs are felled and then they're brought by truck usually to to a sorting depot right and that's what i'm creating here and what they do is they sort the logs by length and um and girth of the of the trees um yes all right calm down and um and, and you'll see them laid out in piles like this so that's that's what I'm doing, and I, I love that. This, this is one of Joe Fried's mod. This is the Joe Fried uh, forestry mod, and you can you can raise these up uh, a meter at a time to create piles of logs. And what I'm doing here is is creating piles of different sizes, and you can you can choose like how how long and how thick. Stop it. The uh, the pla the, uh, the the logs are. So um, I'm ju I just decided to put in like three piles because there's no point going like ridiculous with this. Um, so the other thing is like I wanted to I, I wanted to come up with like like something that as close to a realistic logging camp or or the the sorting depot part of it as I possibly could. And um, I was I was watching one and. I've put a couple of cranes in there. What they actually used was this freaking enormous A-frame that at like, uh, like it hangs kind of over the tracks at like a 30 degree angle. And it's just this like um, harness of cables and a couple of girders. And a truck pulls in and they they swing this harness over, they, they swing the, the girders underneath the logs, hook up the, the cables and just hoist it off. And the A-frame doesn't move, the, the train moves. They, they actually move the train along a car at a time and fill it up that way. It's freaking awesome. I, I was really, really interested to watch it. And also watching the trains going through the terrain and seeing just how brutal the terrain is. Like like the most extreme ter terrain that I create or whatever is nothing compared to what they actually have to deal with. And it is really, really wild, right? Other than, other than like a, a fairly small, like, well, I say small, it kind of depends on the, on the size of the logging camp, but other than like the area that they, they've actually cleared to use, immediately after that, you'll usually get a patch of, um, of just brush and bushes, and then it's just thick trees. And, and it really is solid, right? Really, really, really thick forest. Um, well, of course it would be because that's that's you know that's what they're doing, you know, growing loads of trees and then cutting them down. So, so yeah, so I wanted this to reflect that and to be. Um, I wanted to try and make the terrain a, a little bit more uh, brutal and a bit more up and down. And what I'm doing now is just creating kind of a network of roads into the forestry area, so the. The trucks would go out on these little roads, and then they'll they'll cut down patches of trees, and they'll bring them back to the um, to the rail depot, load them up, and ship them out. So, so yeah, I, I've got to say, I'm I'm pretty pleased with this, and 
I'm really glad that I, sp I, I spent that time researching. So I spent about six hours this morning just um, researching and, uh, and going through the mods and stuff. Uh, and and I really enjoyed it. I really did enjoy it. And then I and then the the next six and because I started about nine. It's quarter to quarter to ten now. So um, so yeah, the next six and a half hours or so, I've been working on um, the map itself, doing all of this stuff, and then all the editing and narrating and all that kind of stuff. So and I would imagine I've probably got an hour or so left to go to get this video out. And Every, seriously, every freaking minute well spent because this, this has turned out really, really nicely. And I haven't, I actually have, I'm doing this narration now and I've, I've actually kind of done the next bit uh, of just just finishing everything off and sorting it all out. Um, I haven't recorded the, the very last section of the video which is going to be uh, like riding the trains and stuff and I... <laughs> I think you're really going to like that. Oh, I think you're going to like that a lot. So what I'm going to do here is throw in a, like, a pretty big section of uh, a forest. Yeah, pretty big section of forest coming up. Here we go. Boom. <laughs> Catch that. Now, the only thing is that it's... Um, it's put the, the trees all over the tracks. Now, I thought that I'd be able to clear that just by redoing the tracks, but it doesn't actually get rid of all the trees. I just thought, you know, I'll, I'll take the catenaries off, put the catenaries back on again. But in actual fact, it didn't get rid of all of them, so I had to manually go down and clear them out. I, th I don't know, it, it might have been where the trains were, because there is a train there. And I think it might be where the train... Well, I don't know. I don't know. I Well, anyway, it didn't. So I had to, I had to manually take them out. Um, I was going to say something else about the... Oh, about the trains. Yeah. I also did some, some research about like what trains they use and whatever. And I was, um, I was reading up and, and watching a video about this, um, this logging camp in the, um, uh, the Algeny Mountains. And like they don't use like new trains. This 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 particular line, they've got I don't know, they've got about eight eight locomotives that they use on that on that line, and it's like uh, GP40s, and um, they've they're like they've rebuilt um, old EMD uh, F7s, you know, and they've replaced they've replaced the the engines. In them so they've got they've got more modern engines or whatever but yeah these are scrubby old trains so uh, I've loaded up a whole load of locomotive mods to start using on the freight uh, and we're gonna have uh, like loads of those being used um, it's gonna be EMDs uh, all of the like SD 70s 75s the uh, the M's the M2s the the MACs and probably the most common, the uh, now, the ACEs. Anyway, I've run out of time, so let's get back All to righty. it. Alrighty, um, I've done I've done a little bit more. I've done a little bit of work on like the trees and some smoothing and all that kind of stuff. And uh, uh, I did a tiny little bit more decorating down at the down at the lumber camp. Uh, did a little bit with the roads and stuff like that. Uh, I've uh, put in a few more signals just to sort things out. And um, and I've moved all of the vehicles that were on the Ashby planks line over to the silver branch it's these four no habs now i'm pretty sure that that's going to be too many trains on here so we'll uh, we'll thin them out but what are we going to do first well like i think the first thing we want to do is we want to get rid of the ashby planks line so let's let's do that now just just before we start uh so this was making about 18 million and this was making about 62 so we call it 80. So, so say the two lines are making 80. I think we're going to make less money now, right? I think it'll be more efficient, but I think we'll make less money. But I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. So, uh, yeah, what was I doing? I was getting rid of that, wasn't I? Hey, we got rid of a line. <laughs> I'll probably be... In fact, I know for a fact that I'm going to be adding more than one line back in. So, <laughs> um, yeah, you know what? I'm going to get a line straight away because I know that I'm going to add a new line in. Should, I, should we do that now? 
Come on, let's do that now. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to get the waypoint. Uh, not for the not for that. I want the waypoint for roads. Here we go. We'll get the road road waypoint. I've got so much new stuff. It's crazy. A waystone. The hell is this? A waystone. Oh, a little stone by the side of the road. That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. I think I'm going to use these though, just just for the sake of it. Um, so if we put a if we put a sign, so we want to be going up this way. So let's put one up there. And we'll put one up here. And let's see, we want one probably like out here somewhere. And we want one up here. I need to put some more blooming trees in around here. It takes ages though, like like manually filling in all the trees and stuff. I'm not gonna do it now, screw it, screw it. Okay, so I put those five in, um, so what I want to do now is put, come back, come back waypoint. I want to put a waypoint in down here. Now, this is where that like waste stone might come in kind of useful. Right, because I'd rather have a signpost in here. We'll, we'll have a waste stone. Sweet. All right, let's uh, let's do our line. So uh, what do I want? Uh, pff, I don't know. Let's, let's make it. Make it black color, which is really weird. So we, we we went up there. That was, yeah, that was number nine. Then we want to come back to the waypoint. Now I suppose after waypoint three, this one, after that one, we could go to there, couldn't we? And now we've got oh, now we've got a line going all over the place. Awesome. All right, cool. So all we need to do now. <laughs> Is <laughs> I love this. Uh, is gear the depot, which we'll, I don't, we'll throw it over here, not just to keep it out of the way. And what do we want? We want some. Where are they? Some big ass timber semi trailers running around. So let's have I don't know. What do you think for for that length of? I'm thinking probably want like like. Uh, maybe maybe eight. Yeah, maybe eight running around the place. Let's try that. So set line all new line two. There we go. Boom, and there it was done. Okay, right. So uh, the next thing we want to do is sort out replacement trains. Um, the M's, the MACs, the seventy fives. Like this, freaking so many versions. Where's the where's the ACEs? The ACEs are kind of like the. Where's the ACEs? That's 70 M's. Those are MACs. Here we go. ACEs. These are very cool. Um, and I've got these specifically for some of these kinds of jobs. So I'm thinking um, something like this. I don't know this Montana rail link. Yeah. Okay. So we want uh, we want to get rid of that. We want to get rid of the one at the other end. And then we want one of those. These look so good. And we want one at the other end. Now, the only thing I didn't get was um, the mod that will flip them around. Um, so that this one would be going in the opposite direction. Now I can get those mods. But what I think I'm gonna do is, sh instead of having this top and tail, I'm gonna shuffle this down so we'll actually have what is referred to as a double header. So, boom, boom. Which I think should look kinda cool. There we go. And we've got the state cars, yeah. And 314 meters, which is perfect. We'll have auto replace on, replace now, yes. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty, having, uh, having sorted that out, there's one more thing Actually, we'll do that after. Let's get it. Let's get it running, shall we? Should we get it running? I think we should get it running. Um, where's um, where's the light? What's it called? It's called the Silver Branch, isn't it? So, is it is it after all the TFs or is it TF the Silver Branch? I don't know. Uh, seriously, I don't know. Oh, there it is. It's TF the Silver Branch. Oh, okay. Let's. Um, I guess we'll keep that. I guess we'll keep that up for a bit. 
All right, so I guess, now I have gone round all the trains individually to make sure that they're facing the right way. So I think what we want to do is just crank it up, triple speed, let it run so that the trains can get moving and sort themselves out and most importantly, replace. Now it'll be friggin' ages before one gets down there. Um, but really gonna come down there. I think our best chance is gonna be down here to actually see one. Here we go, here we go. It'll be ages before that pulls out, but yeah, I like that. I like that quite a lot. All right, awesome. Okay, now if we're gonna do that, it means the trains on this line, so like these oil trains, um, these oil trains are gonna be held up by the other trains because they're too fast. So, we're gonna change them. Um, why didn't I just pick that one? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Uh, is that? That's big crude, that's not what we want. We want, because we made crude and oil, that's what we want. So, uh, what we want to do is go to replace. Now, what are these? These are the 218s. We need to get rid of that. Get rid of the one at that end. And then we need to find a couple of trains. Oh, now, hang on a second. Ah, I know what I didn't do with those other trains. Ah, I'll, I'll do that afterwards. Uh, these trains, um, let's see. Are they, are they all, are they all those new ones? They're all diesels? Really? Okay, well, we're gonna have diesels on this, which is, it's not the end of the world. Um, yeah, so, bu -bu -bu -bu. there's some very nice, I do like these Norfolk Southern liveried ones. Um, are these SD70 Max MACs? They're also 70. You can see I've got freaking loads of these. <laughs> Absolutely loads of them to play around with. Um, Canadian National is nice. The CSX is nice. Um, do, 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 do. What else? I don't know. I, I'm thinking maybe these. Maybe these. These are kind of like these are kind of nice. Whatever. Seventy miles an hour. Yeah, it's the kind of thing that you'd have with these. So let's have and one more. Right there we go. So we'll have that on. We'll say replace now. Yes. All right, cool. That's that. Um, okay, let's let these guys uh, run and replace and stuff. So, let's see, we're gonna get one coming in anytime soon. Oh, there's one coming down here, I think. Uh, no, that's a. Oh, here we go. Here's one. And come on. Oh, it confused me because they're both at the other end. Oh, yes. Right, we'll look at all of that stuff. What I was going to do um, was think about changing the platforms around here. And I'll show you for why. Currently, if I, if I open this, if I open this up. Um, currently, we're going through platform two, which is the Biggleswade crude and oil line. Right? Which means that if there's a bigger weighed crude and oil train, like there, like it is now, we're gonna have to wait for the Donda. In fact, that's exactly what's happening. We're having to wait for that train. Well, we don't want to do that. We just wanna whiz straight on and get the hell out of the way, don't we? Yeah, of course we do. Right, so let's, um, shall I pause? I better pause it while I'm doing this because otherwise I'll get into trouble. So we've got, we've got the big crude line. That's on platform five. Sorry, it's on platform four. Um, track, where are we? Um, what do I want? Track five is clear. There's nothing on track five. So we could actually change this over to use track five if we wanted to. Okay, after a lot of messing around, and actually it was quite a lot of messing around changing, changing all of this, I've got everything shuffled over. So if we look at the terminals, you can see I've moved, um, the, the big crude over to track five and TF goods from three to four to free up track three. And then if I switch this on, you can see that um, we're, we're now coming down here, or you're sharing the, uh, the Biggles Way crude and oil 
right up to this point and then we switch over we go whiz through platform three we don't stop there uh whiz through there and then come around here and join onto the plastics line so sweet awesome so, so turn it on so there's a there's an oil train going in there and if we're lucky here it comes Woohoo! and it just whizzes straight through Straight round and onto the plastics line. Hooray! And boy, was there a lot of rejoicing. Yes, there freaking was. Okay, um, is there anything else that I want to do? Um, yeah, actually, there is. There is. There's one more thing that I want to do. Uh, let's slide that down. Um, these bridges here, right? Um, they're they're kind of sort of a little bit horrible. Not to look at. I, I actually like them, right? But to go through, they're a bit of a nightmare. Now, speed, I don't care about because our trains are only doing 70 top speed. Um, so the fact that these are limited to 75, don't care about, right? I don't have a problem with that. Um, so let, let's pause it. What I'm gonna do though, is I'm gonna get rid of these and I'm gonna use one of the new bridges that I've got. And you'll see just how many freaking bridges I've got. It's crazy. Um, so what do I wanna do? I want high speed tracks. Um, now I've got catenaries on here. Um, but we can take those off because we're now using diesel trains, which would be kind of nice. So, okay, we start off with these old um, stone bridges. Uh, we've got, we've just got freaking millions. All these different stone bridges. Um, you can have like a wall underneath and all like concrete, and blah, 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 blah. Um, God knows what that's made out of. Is that a wooden bridge? Yeah, that's a wooden bridge. Which is, I love that, actually. Uh, and then this this kind of green steel bridge. It's a kind, of, kind of, more like an iron bridge, I guess. I guess it's steel. Um, you got this thing, which is like, kind of weird. Uh, but I did kind of like it. And then uh, you've got like, pl something plain like that. These are the, um, these are the girder bridges. Uh, then you've got what we had before. Then we've got the modern one that we already had. And then the, the steel bridge, that's the other type that we already had. Um, but then we've got some new ones, things like this one and this one. This is the one I, that I'm actually going to use on these sections because it's got it's got these kind of smaller railings and they don't get in you get in the way of the view so much. Um, when you're using something like this, it, it it's it really messes with the view. So I think this is the one that we're going to be going with. Uh, not that one. That one. That's the one we're gonna go with. And now there is a, another one with a with a concrete wall underneath. And there's that one, which has got the concrete along the sides. But we're gonna go with this one because I think it gives us the best views. So, boom, in you go. Uh, we'll do that one, we'll do, we're gonna do this one. Yeah, because we, we are gonna have a little bit of a ride. I don't think we're gonna ride the whole thing. I don't know, I mean, we might end up riding the whole thing because you know how I get carried away. But we'll see. So let's get rid of you. Come on. And boom. Down at the bottom and that one. I'm starting to get, I'm starting to learn these mods and where things are and stuff. Right, that'll do. Boom. Uh, am I gonna go around and do every single one of them? Probably not. Um am I gonna do these? Yeah, probably. Probably not at the moment. I might go around and do well, I will go around and do them at some point. Um, I was gonna do, let's see, there's, there's none, the, the, the rear, oh, that goes under that one, that's okay. There was, oh, the, I think there was, was the one here and I've, repl and I've got rid of it, I don't know, I can't remember. And then I've got rid of that as well, so that's fine, there were tunnels and stuff. Yeah, it's just, it's just that bit. So the, the only ones left are these ones over here. So this one, I was just looking for the ones that kind of give us the best views and stuff, but go on. I, I guess because it. Oh, uh, that's. Oh, that's two. That's two way, isn't it? Yeah. Go on. Well, let's get rid of this one as well. What the hell? Why not? It's fun, isn't it? Got to make sure we've got enough time though to actually like ride this and go and have a look at stuff. Want to go and have a look at the logging camp and stuff like that. So, um, plop you in there and change you. I wish it would stick with the one that you've chosen is the only thing. Now, when I do the other side, it should automatically 
adapt to that type, and it does. And these look really nice when the when the pillars are a bit wider. See, that is a pretty nice bridge, I think. Let's get rid of that. I can't, can't get a good. There we go. Yeah, see, that is a pretty nice bridge. Right, we'll leave. We'll leave the rest. I'm not going to tinker with all of these, but they will get replaced eventually. Right, where are we going to start from? I think we should probably start from over here, from the goods factory. So. We've, um, we're starting off with an empty train headed off to the lumber camp in the far, far distance. So let's have a look at these beautiful EMD um, SD70 ACEs. So I've learned so much today, it's crazy. Right, so let's jump on board, drop you down there and off we go. Doesn't look too bad, does it? Love the diesel smoke pouring out of the top. And these models are, uh, the modders do a fantastic job on these. Whoops, oops. Uh, the modders do a fantastic job on these because they've had, you know, I mean, they've got the driver in and they've got interior detail and all kinds of stuff going on. It, it is quite staggering. I can't quite get a look inside from this angle. Oh, let's get rid of these damn catenaries. Um, I, I'm starting to really dislike catenaries, like in general. So the, there might be some radical things going on in the future. So what I want, I want to remove catenaries um, from here. So there, there, and then all the way down here, spoiling our views. On a single track, it's kind of not too bad. Um, it's kind of not too bad. But it's like when, when you're double tracked or more, God, they're, they're just, they're so intrusive. I don't, I don't like them. Um, so let's get, yeah, let's get rid of all of the catenaries off there because because they don't have well I'm sure at some places they do but the places I was looking at they didn't have catenaries they were using diesels like these like these ones that I've got the S the um, SD70 ACEs uh, actually no the one the, the place I was looking at they like I said they got like GP40s and uh, really really old trains I mean G, GP40s uh, and the the F7s I mean you're going back to like the the F7s, I think, go back to the 60s, don't they? I think the GP40s are like 70s. I think, I think, don't don't take my word for that. I am not like a freaking mega expert on these things. Uh, so yeah, we just want to go up to there. So it's the single track sections. But to be honest, we could actually take the catenaries. Um, off this section because the only trains using it are the yeah are the oil trains and and these trains so we could actually get rid of all the catenaries on there I've got to say I'm kind of freaking tempted to as well so do I do I do I I don't know now I, I'm not gonna do it now I might do it another time so let's go back to our train where's our train here's our train right Let's jump back on board. Now, before I before I start, look, look, they're the drivers. Look, it's, the, it's twins. But you've actually got you've actually got like the, a detailed interior. I don't know how, I don't know how close we can get to it. Oh, we can get, actually look inside. God, they kind of chilled out, aren't they? But I mean, that is like awesome detail. All right. Let's, uh, let's keep going, let's keep going. So jump on board and off we go. Now just imagine when this is all done out with the fields and everything, it's going to be an epic journey. Look at that, look at the air horns on the top. Look at that. fan spinning and I, I, these are awesome models they really are awesome models 
and they'll look even better when they're a bit older and we start seeing some dirt and rust on them. They're way, way too shiny at the moment. Now, I'm gonna jump on board and we're gonna see what does it look like when we go into the forest area. We've got a nice little route, um, level crossing there. And yeah, it's not too bad. I think I need to bring um, like the bushes down a bit further. Here we go, we're coming into the camp now. And there you go. How does that look? How does that look? I think that looks not too bad. We've got the, the roads going off into the ditch. We've got the trailers running around. Oh, that's a bit, <laughs> a bit janky. I might have to smooth that. Now, before we go, let's have, let's have a little look. Let's have a little look. So, yeah, I think I think it's worth just having a, a quick little look. It is kind of awesome. I'm very, very pleased with this. I know it doesn't seem like much probably, but it like putting these logs in, figuring out like how to do it and all the rest of it, um, did take a bit of time. And um, like, you know, figuring out what buildings I was gonna use and, but it's it's all kind of nice. I, 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 see, looking at, I should have looked at this a bit a bit more often. Just looking at this, I'm thinking, yeah, I could, because I've got these build like like things like this. I've got, um, pretty sure I've definitely got that building. Pretty sure I've got that building. I I could have, I could have done a bit more over here. In fact, that building is that building, and then like that that is this. Uh, is that one? No, that's not that one. But yeah, so. I don't know. I, I don't think it needs any more, though. I think that's pretty much enough. I think that's just blooming perfect. All right. Should we jump back on the train? Jump back on the train. Shut up, Sky. Stop with the stop with the ooh shiny. We want to jump back on the train. Yeah, because I want to see how this looks. So we should start off. Hang on a second. I saw a bit of blooming catenary there. There was definitely a little bit of catenary. Look, look. Little bit of freaking catenary there. Let's get rid of that. Horrible little. Uh, see, look, there's a tiny freaking little bit there. And. Any more? No, that's it. It's gone. Hooray. No more blooming catenary. Um, yeah, let's jump on board. So, what we should have is we start coming out, and it should be nice and dense and it should feel enclosed and claustrophobic and then what should happen is the terrain should change the terrain should drop away on the left hand side and it should bank up on the right hand side and we should actually start to get a little bit of a look at the countryside beyond the forest that's what I was going for. I may need to take out one or two more trees or drop it down a little bit more. Then we're into a bit of a tunnel. A little tight, single track, claustrophobic tunnel. And then when we pop out the other side, then we're just gonna have the forest on one side. Now, I have got to decorate this and we'll have bushes and stuff on the other side, but you're gonna be able to see See, isn't that way better without the high-sided girders and whatever? Way better. Oh man, once this is all freaking decorated with fields, with cows and goats and wildebeest. Herds of wildebeest sweeping majestically across the Serengeti. Um, yeah. Yeah, these bridges are freaking awesome. I love them. Love them. Then we've got another nice little section. I've got, I've got, I'm gonna have so much fun decorating this. And we whiz through here. Now I wanna get onto the, onto the Wellington section. This is the, we're coming up to the long tunnel section now, I think. I'm gonna speed this up to get us through the long tunnel section. And then when we pop out the other side, we should see the airport. There's a plane coming in. 
Mom, mom, look at the airplane. Oh, this is a, this is a really, really nice view down here. Um, they need to do like a lot more smoothing work and just general tidying up and everything. So, oh, there's a plane taking off. Mom, mom, there's a plane taking off. Look, look. Right, now we come on to the, the shared tracks with the oil line. There's another, that's taking planks. We're carrying logs, that's taking planks. I have to speed this up now. Let's, let's speed this up. Oh, there's an oil train. Oh, how cool was that? We didn't get to see the engines, but they're just a repaint of the same engine that we're using. I probably should have, actually, no, I, um, is it? I can't remember now. I think I used an MAC. Yeah, I think I did. This is this is um, an ACE, and uh, that was an MAC. I think I can't. I can't remember. All right, so we come down here. We whiz in here. We drop off our logs. We pick up a, a, a ton of stuff. Right. Cool. Um, I tell you what. While we uh, jump out of there, let's jump on board one of these just so that we can have a look. Let's, let me see. Is this a, is this an MAC? I don't know. Um, no, it's another ACE. Okay, it's an ACE. Right, so yeah, let's just jump on board. We'll have we'll have a little ride with this. People have been asking for this. It's, there should be some very very happy people around because they've been asking for this for ages. Double heads and trains have nice long oil trains with double headed locomotives. Well, now you've got your wish. God, when this is blooming decorated with some fields and stuff, holy crap, that's going to be a great view. That's going to be something else. Biggles Wade's going to get so destroyed. I've got massive plans for what's going to happen to Biggles Wade. Oh, huge, huge plans. It should, but it should turn out. I hope it turns out epic. I think it will. It should. Now, I'm, I can see I've got my clock running, and I can see that I'm actually over time on this video. Do I care? Mm, not really that much, to be honest with you. See, this bridge needs to be replaced. Let's go. Um, I, I, I've got to say, I do like looking at these trains. God, these locos are just... They are so... I mean, I hate calling them pretty, but they're just awesome to look at. But I'm going to go. I'm going to go first person. Okay, let's whiz through the tunnel. Ooh, we almost got caught by the signal there. That's, ooh, the signals are just changing for us, letting us carry on. Right now, we are coming into what has got to be one of the busiest stations on the entire map. This place has got so many freaking trains going through it. I would think the only busier place is maybe Biggles Wade or the big container port. Those are the three busiest for sure. But we just, well, ah, no, we're, we're on an oil train. So we pull into the platform and stop there. But if we weren't on an oil train, if we were on a, oh, here we go. Now, now, why are you waiting? Uh, I'm missing a signal. I'm, if that train's waiting, I'm missing a signal. So let's have a look. Yeah, I'm missing a freaking signal. Let's do this about, let's put it there. Okay, now it should freaking move. <laughs> okay, you gonna move? Yes, you gonna move now. There we go. Yeah, that should have just blasted straight through there instead of waiting. But. This is so busy here. I love it. If you if you just watch this station on like three times speed, the trains are just whizzing in and out. I've got so many trains to, or so many locomotives to replace, because we're going to be using a lot of these type style of locomotives. I, I just love them. I mean, yeah, I know that they're American, but they do get used all over the world. Uh, I know that there are other locomotives um, that could be used. I mean, there are 
I've deliberately stayed away from from the from this from the Eastern European uh, models. But yeah, I think we'll be using a lot of the um, a lot of the trains that I've already got for the passenger stuff. I'm going to be massively expanding the passenger trains. I've decided we're we're definitely going to do that because the thing is, if I decorate the whole map the way I'm doing, it's just too damn good to waste. Don't you think? Don't you think? Like we should we should just have passenger trains all over the freaking place. So this is why Biggleswade is going to have to change like quite a lot to accommodate a big station. And I'm seriously thinking that in Biggleswade we're going to use the um, um, Liège um, uh, Goulmain. What is it? Goulmain station? Uh, what is it? Uh, pff, God, I can't. The station and yeah, passenger. And look, uh, look at all the freaking stations that I've got now. Freaking millions of them. The um, Liège Goulmain. I probably pronounce that horrendously, but it is what it is. But yeah, I am thinking that maybe Biggleswade gets this, and we maybe we make Biggleswade like a really, really modern. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that I'm thinking the. Um, the extra large tram stage. This thing's pretty sweet as well. I've got so much stuff to show you. Um, loads of new stations, things like this. This is this is sweet. It really is. And then I'm thinking like down here. This is the last thing I'm going to show you. Down here, I'm thinking we replace this bridge with something like. Um, uh, where, where's my where the, where the hell are my bridges oh here we go, here's my bridges with something like this now you're probably going oh my god that's huge and it's too enormous and whatever but you can control it if we drop it down to like a 30 meter then it's only the same height as those in fact it's slightly lower than those so we could put something like that in and make it a bit of a feature. And um, I've got other bridges as well. I like this one, the Moor Fleet. Um, this one you can play around with a lot. You can completely change the look of it. You can you can move the pylons around, the cables, and all kinds of stuff. There's there's loads of control. So, yeah. But we'll play with those another day, guys. I hope you like my little logging camp. Let's go and have a little last look at the logging camp. I hope you like. The, the new trains and locomotives. I think this kind of works. I would have loved to have an A-frame exactly the way that it was in the video that I was watching, but I mean, I think that'll do, won't it? I mean, it's, it's, it's close enough, isn't it? Come on, I think it's close enough. And we've got our trucks running around, and I think generally speaking, I'm very, very happy with that. Uh, and we're going to be doing a lot more of this with everything else. So, Sky, shut up. The video is overrunning a lot. I know we've enjoyed it, but it's time to go. Guys, thank you for watching. Really hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment, and I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.